Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to laminate carbon fiber onto a model airplane wing. So right here we have the Top Sky 3 uh, carbon wing. It's all carbon fiber with foam core. And um, what you need to laminate a wing is you need to have something called laminating epoxy. So it's this stuff right here. You, this is the regular epoxy and then that's the hardener. And this one is West Systems brand. Um, you can buy it like um, hardware store. Um, yeah, so it's a five to one ratio. So you put five parts epoxy and one part hardener, and that gets you your glue that you put together. You need you're gonna need an exacto to cut the carbon fiber that you're gonna be putting on. You can also do the, it's the same exact method for uh, fiberglass. And you just, yeah, it's just pretty much the same thing. So, you have to cut the carbon fiber. Um, right here you can see that you have these ailerons. You can't put the carbon fiber over the ailerons. It has to stay right, right in here. And so, if you see right here, this piece that came with the kit is too wide, so we're going to have to cut it back. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of sick. Um, and then it's going to extend over the top about that much. Just, I'll cut it back a little bit, but it has to go over the top so it can wrap around like that. So, I'll show you how you measure this out. It's just a really easy way. Um, you run come closer. Cut it down too. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some measurements. We want to get the length and the width right here. So I'm just going to measure this. You want to make it about two millimeters shorter, just so it doesn't overlap anything and make a mess. So I'm going to go about 2.3 um, centimeters. So I can go right here on my piece of paper. I'm just making a, I don't know, like a cutout sort of thing. So I can go 2.3. Make a mark. Then I can go up here. Two point three. And I can see how long it is. So about nineteen and a half. There's no like very specific way to do this. You can do it as big as you want. Some people actually go right here, and they make the patch go right here, and then it, they have it extend out here and, and be kind of wide. And that's just extra strength. I forgot the measurement, so I'm going to measure again. Um, yeah, 19 and a half. So we're just going to cut this back. And line this up. You want to get it nice and straight. So, here we go. That is our strip, sort of. So we can test that out. Looks good. It got a little bit shorter. All right. Okay.
so I can separate these. <laughs> So, that fits on like that, and yeah, awesome. So, what you need to do is you measure out your epoxy and then you combine it, and you put painter's tape on the sides to keep the glue from spreading everywhere, and then it's really important that before the glue dries, you take the tape off, otherwise you're going to get glue stuck under the tape and it's going to look really ugly. And I'm gonna put this on the, on the wooden block. Okay. The next step is putting the glue on this patch. So we're gonna get it pretty centered, and then just kind of pour the glue on. So just pour a tiny bit. If you notice, we put um, painter's tape on the side to help uh, the mess not be so big. Um, so you just kind of. stuff called isopropyl alcohol and use it to you just kind of put it on a rag and wash your hands and everything soap and water and it'll help get it off so the next step is you start rubbing the epoxan with your finger with the gloves on so Ryan hold the hold the carbon fiber down while I rub it in while you rub it in no you're doing it okay So what he's doing now is he's going to press it in, kind of spread out the glue. What do you want to do about it dripping? It's okay. I'll mop it up in a second. So we're just working it in push it out to the edges. You can get on the painter's tape, it's okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to not fray the carbon fiber too much. Can you turn that off, please? just afraid it too much. <laughs> so as you can see it has like a shiny appearance. Now Ryan work puts them on the front. So the front part kind of wraps under the wing. Um yeah. So now what we do is we have toilet paper and we want to mop up all the extra epoxy so good terrace. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put this down for a second. So you just bunch it up like this, and you just blot out the excess. I'm so gonna do the top part later. No, we should do it now. Go and fold it over the. So that's what the patch looks like, and now we're going to peel the tape off before the glue dries. So, Piece. I'll put the lids on the epoxy. You can take your gloves off too.
can see that's a little messed up. We can smooth that out though. <coughs> Okay, so there we have it. There's our patch. Now you want to let this dry overnight, and then you can work on it the next day and clean it up. I'm just blotting off the extra glue on the sides. So, there we go. We don't have to do anything, we just let it sit now. And then we'll do the bottom one tomorrow. <laughs>